Sharing the snippets with other team members in FastKeys is now easier than ever. After initial setting is made, the shared settings are loaded automatically and are independent from the private settings. Shared tabs are marked by this share icon and are ready to be used. If you wish to share one or more of your items with other users, you can simply select them, right click, and select share. Select the tab into which the item would be copied or create a new one. Okay. And now your shared snippets are ready to be used by other users. Initial setup is very simple. I'll be showing the default process for small or medium sized teams. Please note that this might be different in your organization according to the setup made by your system administrator. Let's say I'm one of the FastKeys power users and I want to initiate the sharing. I have already prepared the settings in a separate file, so I'll open it. And here I have the selection of snippets my team would use. Now all I need to do is export the settings to a central location which can be accessed by other users. This could be a network or cloud, OneDrive, Google Drive, something similar. To do that, I'll go to File menu, Team, Export, and here I need to select the folder. I'll use a shared network drive and give the file a name. I'll also select the tabs I wish to export and press Save. This creates a new settings file on the shared drive with complete content including phrase files, word lists, etc. I'll test that on my computer first. I'll use File, Open to go back to my regular private settings. Then I want to load the shared settings. I'll use File, Team, and select Open Shared File menu. I'll select the file I just created. And the shared settings were now loaded into separate tabs indicated by the share icon. You see, I can now use the shared settings while still maintaining my own private snippets. That's all basically. The setup is complete. Shared settings are by default protected for editing. However, if allowed by the system administrator, editing is possible by going to Preferences, Team or Enterprise, and selecting the Edit Shared File button. And it can now inform the other users about the shared file by sending them an email with the instructions on how they can start using it. I'll go to File, Team again, and select Send Link. My Outlook opened a new email with the link to the file and the basic instructions. I'll add a few recipients, my colleagues, add some greetings on the end, and send email. Okay, now let's move to Jennifer's computer as she just received my email. She'll simply copy the link, go to FastKeys, select File Team, Open Shared File Menu, and paste the path into the field. Okay, very simple. The settings are loaded and Jennifer is ready to go. She can browse through the items and start using them. If she doesn't like any of them, she can disable them by unchecking the box on the left. And after a while, when she has a phrase she'd like to share with others, she would select it, right click, and select share. Or she could send the link to the shared settings to other users. Shared features are available in the professional edition of FastKeys. As mentioned, what we showed here is a simple sharing method for small or medium-sized teams. For larger organizations, we offer more advanced settings in the Enterprise Edition of FastKeys. 
Okay, I hope this video was interesting for you. And if yes, please subscribe to the channel and give us a like. It really does help us in developing videos like this. I'm Milo, the Fast Keys expert and public speaking coach from publicdynamics.com. Please check it out in the links above. Stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next one.